excuse me. Hear me. Look all these dirty marks here. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video and for part two in the 12 step total home reset, a 12 week series that I'm gonna be doing, posting one video per week, cleaning a section or zone or room in my home so that between now and Christmas, my home has been given a complete deep clean in every section and that each week maintaining what I've cleaned so far just makes it easy so that Come Christmas time, I'm not faced with a massive cleaning task. You know, you wanna get your house really nice and clean for Christmas, but I don't wanna leave it till the last minute or have tons to do in the Christmas holidays. So just really prepping early and just getting each room, one room, one week at a time, nothing strenuous, nothing stressful, just spreading it out for as long as I can to make it as easy on myself as possible. So last week we tackled the kitchen and did that really nice deep clean in the kitchen. This week we're gonna be doing the lounge and dining room. So starting with taking all the covers off the cushions of the sofa and putting those through the wash. As you can see, they've been a little bit marked up. Freddie and the kids, life, white sofa. The great thing about this Ikea sofa is that it is completely washable. It is so, so simple to just rip the covers off, pop them through, put a bit of stain remover on them, pop them through the wash, and then they dry up and put them back on within a couple of hours. Unable to bend, I never listen. Trying to prove it, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just think Funny how the story goes. Now just giving the media cabinet a really good dust down. I know some people say you've got too much decor and too many knickknacks and bits and pieces, but I really like how it looks and I don't mind spending the time cleaning it. It's fine by me. If you don't like a lot of knickknacks or a lot of things to have to dust, then obviously just go with something a little bit more minimal. But for me, it makes me happy. I love looking at the media cabinet like this when it's all decorated nicely. So it works for us perfectly. Moving on to giving the newest addition to our living room, the IKEA coffee table that I purchased in a recent video. Giving that a really nice clean down. I'm really loving having this coffee table. It is so handy. I have missed having a coffee table like this so much. And I didn't realize how much I missed having it until I got one back again. It's really practical. It's got the shelf underneath, which is perfect for holding things like coasters and all the TV remotes and things that you want to keep hidden out of sight. But it's got a really nice big surface on top so you can put coffee cups or you know little snack plates or anything like that so I am absolutely loving it and definitely 10 out of 10 recommend One thing that the Dyson attachments are great for is dusting. I use my Dyson attachments to dust pretty much everything around the house from dusting mirrors to dusting furniture and all these little bits and pieces like the Ikea fake plants that I had to put in when we got Freddy because the real plants that we had were toxic to dogs. Switch them out for these fake plants and I absolutely love them. I love the color of them. I love the look of them. They just add a little bit of a, a pop of something and uh, they're really great, really super affordable. 
And just as luck would have it, as soon as I take the time out to put the pictures on the walls, one of them falls and smashes something. Thankfully, it wasn't the glass part from that Kmart oil burner. That was one of the very first things that I purchased from Kmart when Kmart sort of started getting really trendy with homewares back in about 2015. I remember that lamp was one of the first things that was really hard to find and really hard to get your hands on. I, so I'm so thankful it wasn't the actual part that went with the oil burner that smashed. It was just a glass candle holder that I had sitting in the base of it. I'm just rearranging some of the location of the books and some of the decor pieces. Just wanting to switch a few things up and make some space for some things that I wanted to bring into the lounge room, lounge dining area for the school holidays and just to have in general some board games and some just family activities that I wanted to put downstairs. Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy And the way you go, baby, don't you know There's a remedy, 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 yeah Yeah, there's a remedy, remedy, yeah Oh no Darling, but lose ya, ain't gonna lose ya I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Do it And now that the decor switch ups are done, I am just spending a little bit of time rearranging or putting some new little messages in these letter boards that I've got. I've got quite a few of these now around the house. I think I've got four in total. Uh, some of them I had for a work project that I was doing years ago. So I've just kept them. I really like having them around. They just like a little bit of decor, something easy to switch up and to put some sort of personal messages in there. I like putting in song lyrics of mine or I've got like some quotes. It's just a fun way to put a little bit of a personal touch in your home decor. It's easy to speak out about the way I live But it's a 24 karat dream now moving on to the final stretch and just cleaning the dining table and chairs and I'm telling you even if your dining chairs look clean from surface level 
definitely get down and give them a good cleaning over because once you get right up close and personal, you'll see that they're probably pretty dirty. These high gloss tiles are honestly the worst to try and keep clean. They show up every single mark and they're really hard to get clean streak free. I usually like to use my steam mop on them. I find that that gets them the cleanest, but this is just what I had on hand at the moment and I'm trying to use up that method floor cleaner. I find that it leaves a little bit of a sticky residue to be honest. So I'm just trying to use it up and get rid of it. But this Veleda spray mop, it's really super handy. It's just got water in it. You can put some essential oil or you can put floor cleaner in the reservoir and it's just super, super handy just to have it right there on hand to be able to spot clean the floors without having to go grab the steam mop, plug it in, fill it up with water and go through all that rigmarole. This is definitely a quick and easy option. Blow my mind with a warning. You dug in deep within me. I feel obsessed. I can't help myself falling into the widest ocean. And just like that, the cleaning is finished and we are left with a beautifully clean, organized, calm and peaceful lounge and dining room, which will probably stay like this for a whole of five minutes, considering it is school holidays with the kids and Freddie, of course. But you know what? It's good for while it lasts. And once it's given that really good clean over, it's always really quick and easy just to do a quick clean up and maintain it. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video and you've gotten some motivation to give your home a clean up, a good detailed clean in the next 12 weeks in the lead up to Christmas. It's going to be here before you know it. So you may as well just spend the time taking your time to go through it slowly, and get it all really nice and clean. So you're not stressed out, rushing at the last minute. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is great feedback for me and for my channel. It helps my channel out a ton. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe before you go. If you haven't already, go and check out last week's video of the Kitchen Deep Clean. Have a fabulous day, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.